Well, hey everyone, I um, want to show you uh, this fiddle. It's my um, 218, number 218, and uh, her name is Alyssa. And um, I did the uh, oil pigment uh, coloring with the uh, clear oil varnish coat on top. And I did um, antiquing um, all around. And this is a one piece back, um, curly maple back and the sides and the neck are from the same uh, block of wood. And I antiqued the scroll too. I like that old antique defect in fiddles. I, I don't like a brand new looking fiddle. So um, it's going to look this way in a couple hundred years anyway. So, but anyway, here. And it's got an ebony fingerboard, ebony tuners. Uh, it's got fine tuners in the tailpiece. And I, uh, for this fiddle, I um, rigged a uh, Vags uh, bridge pickup with a carpenter jack because I've been playing it and um, contra dances, and I go direct with the sound system. And this, this just happens to be a really good fiddle that um, to plug in, and I go through a tone dexter uh, preamp. And it gives me a nice acoustic woody sound without feedback and get plenty of volume. And so um, it's a good fiddle for that for stage performance. And um, yeah, it's it's a pretty good fiddle. It's, it's nicely balanced. As usual, um, I like to say that um, to hear the true tone of a fiddle on computer is hard to do if, unless you have headphones or uh, external computer speakers um, with uh, the internal computer speakers all fiddles sound like flutes but if you have good speaker, a good speaker system or headphones uh, you can kind of, it's a little easier to get the, an idea of the true tone of a fiddle. Also, I like to say, forgive my playing, I'm not a, a great player, I'm a, mainly a, a fiddle maker, so I just do what I can to demonstrate the fiddle. I wish I could play better to really show it off, but uh, please excuse my playing and my style. It's fun to play. It's a gentle fiddle, but it's it's plenty loud. Has good bottom end, and the high uh, the high end is nice and sweet. That's um, number 219, Alyssa. Thanks for watching.